And Kat, I think sometimes you've just got to find your tribe, your clique, a place where you belong, a community that is going to literally elevate you, lift you up. And we're going to continue our discussion around mental health right now, but with a slightly different angle, one that is looking up to the skies. Now, the Cape Town Kite Festival is one of the oldest kiting events in Africa, which is proudly hosted by the Cape Mental Health to promote and raise awareness around mental wellness. And this year, they continue to encourage kids and young people to fly their kites high in support of this and joining in on this amazing initiative is very avid kite maker and flyer part of that community marie ware lane and we're going to be catching up with her right now on what we can expect at this year's event and the importance of promoting mental health awareness because it's a conversation that has to continue and it starts with us welcome to the show Thank you, good morning. Um, so good to have you here because I know that when you guys come, you come with the colour and you come yes. with this wonderful opportunity for us to focus on mental health in a disarming way, in a way that doesn't put too much pressure on us, that just lets us go out there and connect with our people, find our tribe and of course enjoy a spectacular day. Since 2001, as I understand it, you've been doing this and you've built up an unbelievable array. You were saying to me that you've got a dragon that we could have brought here. We just need the lift, the air. What is it about this that grabbed your attention? Why have you become such a dominant figure in this space? I love the outdoors. Yeah, yeah. And um, for being outdoor and being a family event, because you can make it in a family event, and everybody joins in from small to big. You'll be amazed on the field. Um, adults become children again, <laughs> and they just love it. And um, I've decided to go the animal route, nice. you know, like Nemo and um, dragons and, and so on, and oh. frogs and that kind of thing. And the kids just love it. When it's in the sky, they, they jump up. You see the smile on their faces. It, it's just amazing. It's magical. I cannot wait. My boy has been too young up until now, and now being five years old, he is ready to embrace it. So we will be there at Malkobos Durant on the 9th. Undoubtedly one of the coolest spectacles to take in. I love this year's theme, Fly Your Dreams. What's the motivation there? Fly Your Dream is, you know, when you in the, put your kite in the sky, you don't think about anything else but the blue sky and the um, magic of the sun, the vitamin D that you, yeah. you know, that you get in. And, um, you know, like I said, the smiles on kids' faces when you put it up in the sky, the, from small, and when you've made a kite and you see it fly for the first time, it's magic, you know, and you get that great feeling about it. Yeah, there's a sense of achievement, of validation. Yes. There are also many failures along the way, which is oh, probably, course, probably good course. learnings. <laughs> yes, you know, I've, my, my first kite was um, a frog, which was, I called it Philip the Frog. Philip, I love that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, when, I sewed, when I finished, I look, oh, but this frog doesn't look right. But I've, I've sewed the legs on the feet <laughs> the wrong way around, so it looked like a duck. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, I had to fix that. So, yeah. Yeah, along the way you get lots of um, things that you need to fix up a little Creativity bit. Creativity is part of the process. If you want to make a, a duck frog, it's up to you. You can do it because you yes. really will see anything <laughs> in the sky. Obviously, the focus on mental health. I wish, because this is a conversation we've been having for the last few years. I think COVID shook us all. Mm -hmm. um, I think my mental health has never been at as much risk being separated from my family for a long period of time, just dealing with the uncertainty why do you think it's so important that we collectively focus on this in this way? Why is Cape Mental Health such an important partner in this process, do you think? You know, um, they don't just focus on um, the youth, but to everybody. And they assist where it's really needed. Um, there's mental um, awareness, and we need to start with the youth yeah. because that's how that's where it starts. Absolutely. And with a kite festival and with Cape Mental Health, um, we're trying to get as much um, information and people to draw yeah. to a festival to make people aware, you know, because they always ask, Oh, you've got a kite festival, why? With you know, and it's all in aid of Cape Mental Health for the mental illness you know it's, I, and, and I can guarantee you right now we all sit on the spectrum in some way or another yeah. not one person has been affected but I can guarantee you a lot of people are going to be positively affected by this 
So good luck. I hope you have no major issues or road bumps <laughs> on the way to the Kite Festival, oh, but it's you. going to be spectacular. I cannot wait to hopefully see you out in the field Definitely. as I bring my family out there. But thank you so much to you and your team, everyone involved. This is something truly special. And if you want more information and if you would like to donate and help empower this community, you can visit capementalhealth.co.za as well as uh, you can follow them on social media at CT Kite Fest. And that's on all of the social media platforms and uh, we want you to stay tuned because Marie is going to be showing off um, how we actually start making a kite if you want to get out there and see your creation up in the skies to see your dream take flight.